Field crews use applications built with ArcGIS Mobile. ArcGIS Mobile is a feature of ArcGIS Server Enterprise Advanced. It allows organizations to deliver GIS capabilities and geospatial data from centralized application servers to a range of mobile devices over wired and wireless networks. The ArcGIS Mobile application you see here runs on a tablet PC and is mounted in work trucks with an attached GPS. The application can locate itself to the position of the field worker's truck, getting them quickly to the information that they need. A simple, intuitive application makes it easy for the field crews to view, query, and make redline notes. There are built-in tools to quickly identify features, such as work orders, valves, and other information. If I highlight the work order, we can find out exactly what work we need to be performing when we get to the site. So we need to install water service at these two addresses. If a wireless network is available, updates such as new work orders that you saw generated in the geoprocessing model earlier can be synchronized in both directions between the ArcGIS server and the local data store on the mobile device. To complete the work order of installing the new service for the two new homes, the field crew needs to find the valve that needs to be shut off to tie in the new service lines. All the valves that are available on the map can be identified to find out information about those. I can make notes about that. I can copy this into the clipboard. When talking to GIS managers, we've learned that providing access to the GIS in the field is certainly important, but it's only part of the story. The real value comes from the field crews being able to redline the map. A redlining tool is provided so that field crews can send GIS analysts notes letting them know about key changes to the infrastructure. Using the red line tool, I can simply draw a circle on the map indicating which valve has been closed. I can also add notes such as the valve is being closed for installation of service. This in turn creates a work task for mapping technicians and they can update the database or correct a problem such as a valve being located in the wrong location. The field crews know that someone is paying attention to their feedback and as a result are more willing to make notes. The result is an accurate database and a reliance on GIS technology to improve their overall operations. Here you see the, an application that was built with the ArcGIS Mobile software development kit. ArcGIS 9.3 Mobile introduces an out-of-the-box mobile application that can be deployed on a number of different devices. Here you see an example on a smartphone. The application can be configured for tasks such as viewing the map. I can also look at a work list. I can use the menuing system to browse for that on the map. Also, the menuing system has built-in tools such as identify GPS integration. So if your phone has an integrated GPS, we can tap into that and directly use it. I can also browse, step back to the main task list, and I might want to collect features. So the same redlining tools that you saw available in this custom application are now available to me on this simple to use phone. So using my mouse, I can step through, redline the notes, I can go in, update the attributes. I can use GPS coordinates to insert vertexes into the map and update the attributes. So here we've shown you how ArcGIS Mobile can be deployed on a number of different devices for field crews to do work in the field.